Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to the channel. So right now we are getting the boys ready to go to daycare. This one did not have school today. Say good morning. Good morning. Um, she didn't have school today, so she's going to be with me and dad all day. But um, right now, I'm making Josiah's food to go to daycare with him. So, All right, y'all. So, I'll be putting Josiah's food and his milk and stuff in this bag. And I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to be doing it. Right? So, I use this little ice pack that used to keep his milk cold throughout the day. So, we're going to put this in the book bag. And his book bag has this, like, little this big pocket that I put his bottles in so put it in there so these are the two he's going to be taking to daycare with him one is apples and blackberries and then the other one is banana cinnamon and granola this is actually the organic kind I did not mean to get this but he doesn't really know and this is his bag guys here's Mr. Saisa can you say hi the butt say hi and then you got Noah. Hey, hi, Noah. Y'all, that boy is ridiculous. But we're about to get his car seat, and then they're gonna head out and go to daycare. All right. So now that the boys are ready to go to daycare, I'm about to warm Pepe up some waffles. I'm just gonna warm her some up in the microwave. We're not doing a big breakfast this morning because I really don't feel like cooking a big breakfast this morning, but. We're gonna put her food in the microwave and her, have her eat her breakfast. All right, y'all, so her pancakes are done and now she's about to come sit and eat them. Right, Pepe? Yeah. Come on. He called me pancakes and waffles. Here, you can sit in Noah's seat today because all that stuff is by yours. So have a seat, okay. eat your food, enjoy, and I'm about to get you something to drink, okay? Okay, okay hold on. Let me get your drink first. Mommy. What? I love you, here you go enjoy oh you need a fork right here you go enjoy all right y'all so we're back it's definitely a little later on throughout the day but okay we're taking down Peyton's hair right now, and then after, we're gonna wash it. Yeah. And then we're gonna wash her sister's hair, right? You said you want a snack. You can't have no snacks in here, you know that, right? Free snack. But yeah, I'm just gonna be taking her hair down, y'all, so. Nothing much. washing Trin's hair. I just got done taking out Peyton. Um, she's actually relaxing right now. She, I think she's asleep. Um, but I'm going to wash her hair later on. But I'm washing Trin's right now. And we're almost done. We're on our first wash. So we're just doing their wash day routine. And I like to let their hair breathe in between styles. And what I mean by that is, after I take the hair out, I wash it. I don't blow dry it. I wash it. I moisturize it and I grease it. Um, and I detangle it, of course. And I just let the hair breathe for maybe two days before I put um, another style in it. And that's only because when I braid their hair, I don't want them to continue to get tension on their hair, whether it's braids, whether it's ponytails, 
or whatever the case may be. So their hair is free of tension. Their hair is free of rubber bands and braids for the next couple days. So like I said, I like to let their hair breathe in between styles. And then once I do do their hair, I put in a style that's gonna last them at least two weeks. So the hair gets done every two weeks. After the hair gets taken out, the hair breathes for two days and then they get their hair styled. And like that. So, all right, now we're gonna do the second wash. And then we are going to condition and detangle. guys so right here is just me telling you all that after I conditioned and detangled her hair I just put it in plaits and then I rinsed it out like that so that way if I decide on whether or not I'm gonna blow dry it or I already have my sections parted off or if I decide that I want to let her hair air dry her hair is gonna be in plaits and so it stretched out which also means once it is dry, it will be easy for me to come out, so. All right guys, so I'm about to um, put these runners in my hallway, but to prevent them from slipping and sliding, especially for when the kids are running in the hallway or walking or whatever, or anybody in that case, uh, we're gonna be using double-sided um, tape to keep the rug sticking to the floor so that way it's not sliding everywhere. So we're just about to do that real quick. All right guys, so this is how the first one looks. And now we're getting ready to do the second one. I'm trying to figure out on whether or not I got it straight or not. Like, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Does that look straight or no? All right, y'all. So this is how it turned out. We had two of the same runners. And we just put it in the hallway. To kind of make it safer for the kids. Especially when they have socks on. So. All right, y'all. So we're getting ready to make dinner. And on tonight's menu is chicken carbonara y'all can't see it it's backwards but <laughs> chicken carbonara is, is that how you sound uh, carbonara. Pronounce? chicken carbonara we've never made this before so it's the first time for everything we've been trying to try different meals that's another reason why we got this little menu thing to write what we're gonna have for the week so it's been working pretty good so far we gotta write some more stuff on there for the rest of this week so yeah all right, so these are the ingredients. We have bacon, parsley, thin spaghetti, red pepper, onion, chicken breast, and then Parmesan cheese. And then we're gonna have some garlic bread on the side of it. So now Babe is about to chop the chicken breast up and then he's gonna stir them up. All right, y'all, so Babe chopped up the bacon and now we're letting the pan heat up a little bit. All right, y'all, so we got the bacon in here. Now he's gonna add the onions and then the bell peppers next. All right, y'all, so we are gonna show y'all the food whenever everything gets done. I hope everything turns out good. I'll let y'all know how it turned out. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, that's how the food came out. We already tasted it a little bit, y'all, and it's, it's good, so. So the food was delicious, y'all. Oh my God. Like I said, that was our first time making it and it came out good the first time. Um, we were supposed to cook it with the chicken, but we <laughs> we didn't end up making the chicken because honestly, we didn't feel like it, but it came out good still. And right now, we're playing with Josiah on the carpet. He's getting some, you know, floor time. Anyway, so that's how he's getting some play time. So we're just playing with him. Oh. You want to say hi? He's so cute. He's so cute. Look at him. Where you going, Bucky Bub? 
What you doing, Funky Boy? Good say, say. Good say, say. Hey, watch your feet. Watch your feet, baby, okay? Thank you. Can you go and put some extra in to find you some shorts to put on under your nightgown? Thank you. Can you say hi, Pup Boy? Ooh, good say, say. Good say, say. Good say, say. Good, good. Yes, say, say. Yes, say, say. <laughs> Inside, side here. Oh, there you go. There you go. Y'all, he's trying to crawl. By the way, y'all, if y'all didn't know, he is eight months. He'll be nine months um, March on the 13th, actually. Right? And he is trying to crawl, y'all. You just can't seem to get that other foot over. Right? <laughs> So I had some s'mores in the oven. I kind of messed them up. So we have to remake them now. <laughs> Babe, I didn't put the timer on. So now we're making some more. How's it going in here, honey? You said, all right. Yes, I'm cooking right now. I'm sorry, baby. We got these crazy kids. That crazy kid right there. Oh, I'm sorry. Of the crazy kids. Oh. All right, y'all. So this is actually how their bed turned out. I forgot to record it whenever he got done, but it's just a twin over full. Trinity needed a bigger bed, and then Pepe, she sleeps at the top. So, but yeah, they love it so far. So right now they're just relaxing. All right, hey y'all. It's actually the morning time, and I actually wanted to open this package that I got. Um from Amazon. Um, I think I know what it is. I may have already kind of like ripped the tape open, but I didn't like open it because I wanted to do it on camera. So you guys are gonna be seeing what I got. I hope y'all can see me. I feel like y'all can't see me. Can y'all see me? If y'all can see me, let me know. But anyways, um, I ordered some stuff off of Amazon maybe about three, four days ago. And so, I kind of already know what it is, but I'm probably wrong. I ordered quite a few things. I'm still waiting on some more stuff to get here. So, but anyways, enough talking. We're about to see what we got in here. Like I thought. So, we've got some pants for Noah, I think. These are 14. Yeah, so I got some pants for Noah because he needed more pants. I ordered these from the children's place. I got some flashcards for Noah as well um, for whenever he gets ready to start Head Start. I'm going to be working on these with him. We already work with him as far as like his ABCs and stuff like that, but I bought some flashcards to kind of like help us out a little bit. And so this is gonna be fun to do with him. Oh, I forgot I ordered this. So I ordered some gel nail polish, y'all. It's from Mepha, 20 plus three. Um, I'm very skeptical about gel nail polish because I never know which brand to get. Like I want a good quality gel polish, but we're gonna be trying these out. I don't see the, um, oh, here it is. So it has the base, the matte, and then the top coat. And then it has 20 additional colors. And this is the brand, y'all. That's the brand. 20 plus three. Um, hopefully it's good. I may do a video on that for whenever I do my pedicure. I, oh, I also bought something else. I'll show y'all that in a little bit. Um, so I got this nail polish. I got 
the little poppable things that go on the back of the phone cases. I actually got one on um, my phone right now. And then I got, I put another one on my daughter's phone. And it came with three. They're so cute. And it has three um, additional little sticky things to put on there whenever the other ones were, um, that are already on there were out. So, pretty cool. You really can't see it. It's black. It's just black. And then my daughter has um, one with a heart on it. And then I have the, this like marble, like black and white marble looking one. I got it on the back of my phone right now, which I'm using my phone. So, y'all can't really see that. Um, oh, y'all. I had to get another ring light because mine's went out. It's like, I've had it for quite a while, but it went out. So, and the last one I had was a 10 inch. I have a 12 inch this time, y'all. So, I'm so excited. <sighs> um, it's from Ubisoft. Um, none of this is sponsored, y'all. I'm just showing y'all what I have. But, yeah. I mean, if y'all want to, you know, sponsor your girl, you know. But, anyways. <laughs> yes, y'all. I'm so excited. Yes. Okay. Is that it? Oh, and I also got a phone case um, for my phone. I need another phone case. It's just, it's just pink and purple. It's more of a protective phone case, too, because the one I have is kind of flimsy. And I'll be dropping my phone sometimes, y'all. But I need something that's going to protect my phone because... Y'all know phones are expensive nowadays. But that's all I got from Amazon, y'all. Um, like I said, I have more stuff coming. Um, so, oh yeah, I have to show y'all. I also ordered something from Walmart.com. I got a. Here's a better view of it. It's the Equate kind. It's actually like more so of a Walmart brand kind. But it's fine. I feel like they all work the same. And I don't really have a preference. So, And this one was more affordable. So, yeah. But that is it for what I have, y'all. Like I said, it's early in the morning. I'm actually getting ready to do my hair right now. Um, I'm getting ready to record a short for that. So, y'all will be seeing that. Probably be probably before this video comes out, but um, yeah. See y'all later. All right, y'all. So I'm so excited right now. I don't know if y'all remember me telling y'all, but I said I had a surprise. I start back school. So here's a little story. I was in beauty school, but while I was in beauty school, I was pregnant with Josiah. Before I had him, y'all know I had to take some time out of school to have him and things like that well it's been eight months i didn't think i would be out for this long but you know it, it's okay better late than never right so my start date is on march 27th i just left actually the school to get some paperwork and stuff done but y'all i'm so excited so excited y'all let's see y'all will be um, coming along with me as far as that journey is concerned not sure if I want to show a lot of me this family but this channel is you know based on a lot of things that I have going on in my life family just me beauty everyday life vlogs day in the life lifestyle shopping hauls all that all that is going to be on this channel so y'all will be seeing a lot of that but I, like I said I'm so excited y'all it don't make no sense I've been trying to figure out when I would want to go back to school and I wanted to make sure that it was the right time you know you got to make sure kids and house everything is good like before you go making big decisions especially if you have a family and if you got kids and stuff you have to make sure that home and kids and everything else is good babe is happy for me he's been pushing me and pushing me actually to start back school and so we're going to rock this thing out and y'all are going to, you know, come along with us. <laughs> but we are on our way to Starbucks, actually. I'm about to get me some Starbucks because I haven't had Starbucks in a little minute. And I love me some Starbucks. 
yeah i'll see y'all when i get there all right all right y'all so i got my starbucks and i'm trying something different i got the dragon fruit refresher but instead of water or lemonade i got coconut milk i hope this is good because if not then i just wasted my six dollars um so i hope i like it i don't know and it seems like anytime i try something different i ended up i end up not liking it well, i feel like sometimes i just need to stick to what i know but y'all about to get my reaction and we gonna see how this tastes together okay my starbucks now i normally get the um caramel ribbon crunch frappe that's my, my that's my go-to whenever i go to starbucks or the dragon fruit refresher with water but i'm so scared oh and i also got a ham and cheese croissant a ham and swiss croissant i love these all right here we go It's not bad, y'all. It actually tastes a little bit better than the refreshers that got the lemonade and the water in it. I actually asked the lady, like, because before I was like, let me get this, I asked her, I'm like, hey, how is the refreshers that got the, with the coconut milk? She was like, it's, she said, in her opinion, it's good. So I'm like, hey, okay, which one would you recommend? Which one do you think it's good with? And she said, the dragon fruit. So pretty good. Mm. Oh, y'all want to know would have been cool if they used coconut water instead of coconut milk. That'd probably be good too. But it's good, real good. Taste my croissant. Mmm. This hit every time, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. I love their croissant, their um, ham and Swiss croissant. Hold on, y'all. So I now I am outside of Gabe's. It's like this store. And they sell they sell a lot of stuff. Well, basically like clothes and stuff for more affordable prices. So we about to go up in here and see what they got real quick, and then we gonna go home. I don't really want to be out all day. First of all, because it's rainy. Um, it's gonna be raining all day and then there's apparently there's this bad storm coming so we about to go in here and then we gonna go home mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here's Gabe's y'all and it's raining I gotta hurry up all right y'all so I am in Gabe's and I actually see quite a few things and I don't plan on getting much because I already went shopping not too long ago. But yeah, they got quite a few, quite a few things in here. All right, y'all, so I didn't get much from inside of Gabe's. Honestly, I didn't really get nothing at all. The only thing that I got is this eyebrow pencil because I need a new one. And it's a medium brown shade. Hopefully, it's my shade. But that's all I got, y'all. Nothing too fancy. I did look around, and they, I did see a lot of stuff that I like. So I will be coming back up here. I wasn't trying to be in there for too long because, like I said, I wanted to hurry up and head home before it starts to storm. So, yeah. But um, we'll see you whenever we get home. Well, I will see you guys whenever I get back home. So. All right, y'all. So, I am home now. Whenever I got home, babe was actually putting together my chair. So, I'm going to show you all that later on in this video. But... I'm about to get ready to hang up this bathroom um, stuff that I got. Where did I get this from? I think me and Daddy got from got got it from Walmart. And we also bought a new scale too, y'all. So hold on, let me show y'all the bathroom stuff that we got for it. All right, y'all, so this is how it looks. It's one of the mainstays, uh, basically the Walmart brand, but 
I thought it was cute. It comes with the curtain and then two bath rugs. Um, I got a new liner and then it comes with these little hooky things to go onto it. Oh, and then we also got a new scale, y'all. So yeah. And if y'all have, sorry, if y'all haven't known, I've been on my um, weight journey, basically as far as me losing weight and just getting back to my normal shape. I just had my son eight months ago and I have four more kids. A lot of people tell me that I don't look like I had kids, but even though a lot of people tell me that I don't look like I had kids, me, cause I look at myself every day, I gained a bit of insecurities when it came to my body, especially stretch marks. And a lot of people say after having so many kids, it's hard for your body to get back to the way it was. And what I mean by that is, is he okay? Sorry, y'all. Um, but what I mean by that is um, getting back to your body weight, um, the stretch marks, and just things of that nature. It's, it's hard. I would say it's hard to get that stuff off. Um, some women I've seen snap back though. So I don't know. Some women are different though, you know, so. But I've seen some improvement. I've been um, working out a lot more. I've been doing my exercises pretty much every morning. And if not every morning, then every other morning, I make it my priority to at least work out three to four times a week. I try to put time to the side to do that and stuff like that. So I got Sai Sai over here yeah so yeah but like i said i'm about to put up the bathroom curtains i'm gonna show y'all the before of the bathroom real quick all right y'all so this is the before of the bathroom look at that mirror don't make no sense but this is the before all right guys so it's a later a little later on throughout the day but this is how the bathroom turned out i um put the new rugs down i mopped and swept cleaned the toilet real good but y'all it smells so good in here like i love 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 a clean bathroom a clean house a clean but like i was saying y'all i love a clean everything what is this on my face i do not know but i um, got the bathroom down i'm actually getting ready to do peyton's hair right now y'all don't mind my eye i've been rubbing it and i put mascara on earlier so I promise I ain't gonna black eye. Get ready to do Peyton's hair. I may or may not do a short on that. I don't know yet. Um, but actually, I wanna show y'all. Actually, no, nope. I wanna give y'all a beauty room tour. I'm not gonna show y'all my room yet. But I wanna do a beauty room tour for you guys. I just added a new addition in there. This might be the end of this video. I wanna thank y'all so much for clicking on it and then you know, watching the whole thing through. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on them notification bells for when your girl drop another video. Cause we about to be dropping them bangers back to back y'all. Um, I'ma try my best to post every day. So yeah, bye. You feel like, you feel like, you feel like rain in the morning. Me. Mix them 